Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com where my goal is to provide you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this Q&A video, we are going to look at capture times inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on my website. I also recently started offering a weekly live video Q&A session inside of my free private Facebook group. You can join via the link below. Recently, a fellow wedding photographer and friend asked me how to adjust capture times inside of Lightroom when shooting with multiple camera bodies. When I'm working with multiple photographers, after importing my photos, the first thing that I do is I go to view, sort, by capture time. I photographed this maternity session recently, and when I did this, I noticed that all of my photos were here, and I knew that they were mine because mine begin with the HJL designation. And then my friend Ronnie that was photographing with me, well, all of her photos were way up here, and she has a designation IMG. And I knew instantly that I had a capture time issue. And I also knew that it was on my part because I neglected to sync our cameras at the beginning of the session. So what I did is I sourced out these two photos. I knew that Ronnie had taken this photo at the same time I had taken this photo. Okay, so I'm looking at Ronnie's capture time and I noticed that it's April 7th, 4.06 p.m. and I look at my capture time and it's 6.50 p.m. Obviously there is an issue here so I need to adjust all of my photos to be at the same time as Ronnie's. So the first thing I did was I made a note of both of those times just on a post-it note on my desk and then what I did was go to the metadata bar and select all of the photos that I had taken from this session using my Nikon D700. Obviously, Ronnie was shooting with the Canon 6D. So now that I have filtered out Ronnie's photos and I'm only viewing mine, it's time to adjust the capture time. I'm gonna find the photograph that I marked the time for. It was this one. And then I'm going to press Command A, that's Control A on the PC, in order to select all of the photos. But that one is hyper-selected. And that's the one that I'm gonna adjust the time and the rest will follow suit. I'm going to go to metadata in the file menu and edit capture time. And I see that's the photo I'm on and I'm going to change it from 6.50 p.m. to the same as Ronnie's time, which was 4.06.12 p.m. And when I say change all, it's going to change all of the photos in line with this photo. Now it says that this operation cannot be undone and that's true but it's not going to hurt anything if you do it if you have to adjust it another way that will be fine i'm going to say change all and once that happens i'm going to turn off the filter and now i can instantly see that ronnie's photos are intermixed with mine in the proper order which is exactly how i would want to begin the culling process now I should say, it's much easier to sync the cameras at the beginning of the session than it is to go through this exercise, but it is possible. And I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.